I think the old copy is starting to look a bit sad right now. The old scanner comes off in one single unit. Really isn't a lot to it either. Various control boards and other things. Big cooling duct or something for the laser. At least I think that's where it is. Connected to the fan, so it must be. We've got laser control board. I actually found the main power supply. It's in here. Right under the paper drawers. It's actually a big one too. It's 25 volts, 17 amps. I come in handy for my electrolysis. Little toner feeders. Little 240 volt gear motors like the ones you'll find in a microwave oven. Rotating the plate. Big suppression coils. Tons of cabling. I don't keep much of this stuff. I throw it in my PVC scrap bin. You get quite a few kilos after stripping some of these down. There's the main front panel. Nice LCD on it. This little thing's interesting. It's on the front, very front fascia. It's made by Maxell. It looks like a memory card reader or something. At first I thought maybe laptop PC card, but there's only one row of pins, not two. So it's some sort of unique memory card attachment. You got little blowers. That's all system control and print server logic stuff. These things down in here are the paper dehumidifiers. They're well worth keeping. There's another one right down the very bottom there. Taking all the paper feed pickups out. And a pile over there. Another great thing to keep from these is linear ball slides. You don't want to know how much these are in the shops. Not the good Japanese ones anyway. You make your own little drawers and things. That's the main power supply down in there. Get the crap here and up the back. This whole thing slides out. Release the little tabs in there and you can lift it out. That's a little 24 volt oil pump. Very low volume but it does work. I'll be trying to use that with an oil cooled transformer. Again, there's not much on the scanner. I'll strip that one down. There's your paper feed pickups. The paper gets elevated and then grabbed by these rollers Got solenoids little DC motors, shafts, bronze bushings very useful stuff if you're into electromechanics or robotics 